Okay, so we're gonna grab our seven inch touchscreen display that we already mounted our Raspberry Pi to. And we want these wires to be pointing upward. Um, and as I showed in the previous video how those are attached. We'll take our screen mount legs and mount them to the ridges of the display. And we'll take these screws. Now these screws come with the display itself. So all you have to do is find a screwdriver that's compatible with them. Uh, in my case, I use a 2.5 millimeter um, hex wrench, which is what you see there. You'll go ahead and tighten them down, both the top and bottom, and we'll do that for both of them. Now, if you notice, there's a convenient hole where you can access that screw from. So you go ahead and stick the screwdriver through it, and go ahead and tighten it down. We'll do the same with our second leg. Aligning it with the holes, slightly pressing in, and then taking our screws and screwing them in. Okay, once that's done, we'll set that aside. And we'll go ahead and grab our M5 nuts, which we'll put in the microscope base. They'll go into these four holes that I'm pointing to right here. And you may need to fiddle around with uh, the angle of the nut as you press it in there to get it in. You'll do that with all four of them. And then just to make sure that they're aligned with the center of the hole, you can take your screwdriver and just sort of poke them through. Okay, next up we'll grab our USB camera. Now it comes with this kind of like annoying plastic thing on the front, so we'll go ahead and just pop that off. You can either screw off or just slide right off. It shouldn't really be that hard. We'll go ahead and we'll place that in the camera mount. Should fit quite nicely, and the cable should just slip right into that slot right there. Then we'll take our M5 knob and thread it through the associated hole. This should be pretty easy to do as well. And this knob will actually hold the camera in place so you can adjust it up and down and then lock it in place for the proper focus. Next, we're gonna mount our stage. So we'll go ahead and place the stage on there and we'll grab our M5 screws and they'll go in those four locations. These M5 screws, I believe are 14 millimeters long. Um, so they should slip right through those holes and they should thread into the nuts that you placed into the body earlier. In my case, I'm using a four millimeter hex wrench. So go ahead and tighten those down, make sure they're nice and snug, but you don't have to over tighten them. That'll just ruin the plastic. Okay, next we'll take our screen mount assembly and we'll place it on the base. And you'll notice that in order to mount these, we'll be using um, these M5 nuts, which will go on the top of these legs and the M5 screws will thread through the bottom of the base in order to secure it, secure it in place. So a trick to do that is just hold the nut in place, place it on the base, flip the base over, and then grab the associated screw and just go ahead and thread it in. And if you do one, then the rest should be a lot easier to do. You don't really have to hold anything down. Okay, now that that's tightened, we'll do the rest of them. Again, putting them in place on the base, making sure they don't fall out, flipping it over, and then screwing in the screw. Great, and now you're done.